This 3 News Now update sponsored by Godfather's Pizza. Order today. I'm Jennifer Griswold with 3 News Now and here's a look at what's happening now. The Henry Dorley Zoo and Aquarium is eliminating positions and furloughing some workers. The zoo has been closed since March 16th and the zoo says that closure will add up to an estimated $26 million in lost revenue by the end of the year. In addition to furloughs, the zoo is implementing a hiring freeze, salary reductions and reductions to non-animal related expenses. Sarpy County announced a multi-phased road project on 168th between Giles and Highway 370. The first phase will begin on Tuesday with the closure of 168th from Giles to Cornhusker Road. The road will only be closed during the daytime hours. Drivers should expect delays and be cautious when traveling through the area. I'm 3 News Now Chief Meteorologist Jennifer Zeppel with this latest weather update and the rain that came through the area on Thursday is definitely going to be winding down early in the morning and I do think we're going to see plenty of sunshine. It will be a cooler start though. Some areas are definitely going to be falling down into the 30s so it will be chilly especially back to the north and there is definitely going to be some frost forming from areas like Wayne, Norfolk and Columbus with those morning lows dropping into the mid 30s. Now down across the Omaha metro area we'll probably stay in the 40s here at 530 but the clouds start clearing out by the time the sun comes up. We are expecting drier conditions, but look at these lows. We're looking at mostly upper 30s here in the metro, but check out this, maybe getting closer to freezing. So that's where I think tender vegetation could be impacted. And we've got a couple more days that we're going to see exactly that same kind of concern. Now, as far as the rest of the afternoon goes, plenty of sunshine around, but look at these highs, strong north winds blowing in. They're going to be a little breezy and that's going to push cooler air our way, mid and upper 50s. But at least we get to enjoy a little bit of sunshine, so it's going to look nicer outside, but it definitely is going to feel much cooler overall. Even late in the evening, we'll keep the clear skies around. The winds will start to settle down a little bit by the time we start heading into Saturday, but right now we are looking at the wind gusts that are going to stay anywhere between 20 to 30 miles an hour, at least up until about maybe the mid-morning hours, and they try to ease up, so less than 20 mile per hour wind gusts by the time we get into the afternoon, but it's that north wind, so it's going to make it feel much cooler as we head into the afternoon. So after a high of 57, we try to recover a little bit on Saturday up to 63 degrees and we are expecting another chance for rain. Mainly late afternoon, evening, I would say after about 5, 6 o'clock, chances will continue. Not everybody gets the rain. It's out of here before Mother's Day really even kicks off. Breezy though, northwest winds, which is going to keep that cooler air around and we drop it back into the mid 50s for afternoon highs. So yeah, if you're planning on taking any pictures, just be prepared for the wind. It is definitely going to be a little bit more gusty outside. Monday, the wind calms down, but this is what happens. Lighter winds and clear skies means that we are going to see another morning with the potential for some frost. So Saturday morning, Monday morning, any tender vegetation that has been impacted that you just recently have planted, I would go ahead and cover it up or bring it inside. Mid 50s here until Tuesday, rain chances late Tuesday, and we keep the chance for rain, maybe even some thunderstorms by the tail end of next week. Stuck at home? We've got you covered. My peaches are baked to perfection in a 450 degree oven, hands-free after bake. From oven to box to your door. Call me, Godfather's Pizza. Do it.